Hi guys, it's Art with Abby, and today we're going to be working on this lovely jellyfish. I just want to say thank you to everyone who was able to make it in person, and to everyone who wasn't able to make it. I hope you find this video helpful, useful, and most of all, fun. I'm sure your jellyfish are going to be great, and if you would, it would be phenomenal if you brought your pieces down to the library to share with everybody your awesome and creative talents because I know for a fact y'all are great artists out there and I'm so honored to do this for you guys. So, all right, without further ado, let's get started on painting these jellyfish. So today I'm gonna to be using an awesome poster board. If you don't have a poster board, that's completely okay. Canvas will work fine. But since I'm working with a blue canvas today, I'm gonna to start out with the initial jellyfish shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it kind of sideways and I'm gonna create a U just like so, then two other U's, and I'm going to create one more, and then that's going to become a circle. So that's kind of what you want it to look like to start, and once you're done with this part, you outline it with a sharpie, or you can take a small brush, like so, and use black paint or just any dark color, it doesn't have to be black, it can be dark blue, whichever, just a darker color, and you're gonna wanna outline what you created with the pencil. So the pencil is just for the start, and I used white so y'all can see what I'm working Once with. you have your outline together, we are then going to color this bad boy in. I'm personally gonna be using purples and pinks, but you can choose whichever colors you like. I'm gonna start with purple, and work up here and I'm going to use strokes that go down like so. Maybe I'll add some pink in there. Some different purple. And I'm just going to keep doing this over and over again until I fill in the entirety of this jellyfish. Again, I'm not super worried about blending or anything like that, but I want the vibes to be purple and then pink. But that's just for me. If you want, you can make your jellyfish any other color. Just purple and pink kind of reminds me of the SpongeBob jellyfish. So that's kind of what I'm going for this time around. All right, I'll see you for step number two. I've colored in my jellyfish to my liking. I'm gonna be working on the background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with white and I'm just going to create a smiley face facing upwards kind of stroke and a smiley face facing downwards kind of stroke. And from there, I'm going to grab some blue. And I'm gonna work it into that white. And I'm personally using this kind of motion with my brush, but you can do it however you like. And we're gonna create the outside of this jellyfish. Not the outside, but the background outside, if you get what I'm saying. So this is gonna be the background. I'm gonna make the top more light in color, and I'm gonna make the bottom more dark in color being that I'm imagining the sun is shining through the water onto the jellyfish. See you for step number whatever. I can't count, but can't wait to be with you guys on that step. On this part, you can be super creative. You can make the, rain you can make the water rainbow. You could add purples and pinks like you did with the jelly. Do whatever you want, but right now we're just gonna work on that background. We want the bottom to be a darker blue from here to about here and the top being a lighter blue. See you soon. Hi again. So as you can see, I've added some dark colors down here and I'm gonna be putting lighter colors up here. And also I'm gonna be adding some white and you can use yellow if you want, but white around the jelly. So over that outline you did earlier, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want that jellyfish to pop. You want people to go, whoa, there's a jelly. So you're going to outline it with yellow or white, like I'm doing right now, and just outline the jelly. The outline doesn't have to be completely perfect, 
And just remember, if you mess up, like Bob Ross says, they are happy little accidents. So that is just something to keep in mind because that's the beauty of art. Sometimes mistakes can be quite a masterpiece, truly. All right, and I'm gonna be adding some white and light blues on the bottom here. I added some black. I added some green in the water. Just do whatever you fancy. And then once we're done coloring this, we're gonna go to the most fun step, my favorite step, which is the tentacles. And now see that I have done my both bottom and half accordingly, and I've added the yellow around the jelly. I am going to do the most fun part, and so are you, and that is the tentacles. This is where your creativity can truly shine. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick any colors you want, any spectrum of the rainbow, there's no rules, but you just pick a color. I'm gonna pick pink to start, and you're gonna wanna make a quick motion like, so, so again, you grab a color, any color, this one's gonna be purple, and you just, as quick as possible, you can use white. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna create many, many of those kind of motions. And if you want, you can add loop-de-loops, whatever you want, be as creative as you can, and you should get something similar to this. If you want to have a bigger brush, you can create more of these bigger tentacles, or if you want a more detailed, that's where you use a little brush like so. So just have fun with it. There's no rules. Create as many tentacles as you'd like. See ya for the last step. Okay, so you've added your tentacles however you like to. This is the final step, and this is a totally optional step. But if you've looked at jellyfish, you may notice they have dot-like patterns on them. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the back of your brush or a Q-tip, anything with a pointed end, even a small brush would do, and you just create some dots. There's not really a science behind this. You can add one here, there, whatever you want, and give your jellyfish some character. And I will be right back with you guys, and I'm going to show you my complete product. I hope you guys are having so much fun. I definitely am. And I'm so happy we have YouTube for this reason, so I can share my love of art with you. All right, see you soon. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've added my dots, and I feel that I am done. Keep in mind that you can always go back in and change things later accordingly, depending on if you want to change it or not. I think later tonight, maybe I'll add some green in the tentacles, maybe I'll add some red, something different. That's the cool thing about working with acrylics, is you can always go back in and change or modify something, depending on your mood or what you want different next time. I've had so much fun with all of you guys. Thank you again to everyone who showed up in person. And thank you to the Walpole Public Library for giving me this platform to be able to teach my love of art with you, and I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much, stay safe out there, and again, this is Art with Abby. Stay creative!